Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the 4URPC 444K monitor docking station that's compatible for both MacBook and Windows. I decided to get a new docking station because my previous one was working pretty well with my 2017 MacBook, but when I got the new 2020 M1 MacBook, I found that I was not able to actually connect it to two monitors the same way I was doing it with my older MacBook. So I was just looking for something that was functional, could work for both of my computers, as well as something that looked pretty sleek and fit nicely with my workstation. When I received the docking station, I came in this box that has a little summary of its core features, which I thought was pretty neat. Upon opening the box, it comes with a USB-C cable to connect to your computer as well as power supply. So this docking station eliminates the need to have an additional charger plugged into your computer. And with this, you only really need that one USB-C cable running from the dock to your computer. The docking station touts itself as being a 14 in one solution for personal workstation. And you can see here that the two sides of the docking station have all of these different features. And for me, this was really important because my MacBook really only had two USB-C ports as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And for me, when I'm working and if I'm editing videos, it's really nice to be able to have that SD card slot as well as all of these different ports for the cables that I need to run in order to connect to my monitors. Here that my personal setup was just the basic monitor cable so I had a display port cable and HDMI connected and then at the bottom there there's that USB-C cable that connects straight to my laptop as well as the power supply cable. I like that these are all on one side because I face that dock towards the inside of my desk so that those cables were a little less visible than they would have been in my previous setup. Here's my 2020 M1 MacBook that's otherwise only compatible with one external display. When I close the lid, you can see that both monitors are still there. There's no sort of jumpy transition there at all. And when I open it, I can just start back off from where I left off. Using the dock with a 2017 MacBook isn't quite as seamless as an M1 MacBook. You can see here it takes a moment for the displays to load up, but eventually they do. One thing I also want to point out here that I didn't before is that on the other side of the dock, I just have some USB keys that I use for multi-factor authentication. Another drawback of this is that when I close the lid on the 2017 MacBook, the displays actually just go to black and they only really show up again when I open the lid of the laptop, which is a bit inconvenient if I wanna purely work off my monitors and not off my laptop screen. But as a developer, I honestly end up using all three of those screens. With this being my actual work setup, I actually spend the majority of my time with the dock hooked up to this computer and the drawbacks that I pointed out before have been minor enough that it doesn't actually interrupt my workflow since I end up using essentially three screens at all times. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows computer, so I wasn't able to test it with this docking station, but I've seen a lot of reviews that say that it's compatible with Windows as well, and the description itself also discusses that. In terms of the pros and cons, Let's talk about the cons first to just get them out of the way. So the most obvious one is the fact that it doesn't work the same way between M1 and non-M1 chip MacBooks. And the other thing that I haven't talked yet about in this video is the fact that this dock is currently priced at $200. And if you just go on Amazon or other websites, you can see a lot of other docks that are priced well below this. But for the most part, from what I saw, they don't have as much support for all the different features that this one has. So for this price, you're sort of paying for the convenience of having all of these things integrated with the docking station, as well as the fact that it's something that looks generally more aesthetic than a lot of the flat rectangular ones that are available at a lower price point. 
Now let's talk about the pros. I love that this is an all-in-one solution that I have a single USB-C cable for. As someone who doesn't love having a ton of cables hanging out, it's nice to be able to just have that single one that I can plug and unplug to switch between my different computers and different work. Now, this also has a really clean aesthetic to it. Most of the bigger cables are all on that one side of the dock, which you can just easily turn away and much easier for cable management. I can see how this dock might be something that appears in our battle stations on Reddit with the super intense gaming setup. I don't have that, but for my use case, this works really, really well for me. Based on everything that I've talked about so far, this docking station gets a 4.5 out of 5 for me. These are the criteria that I evaluated it on. For utility, I docked a star due to the compatibility issues between the M1 MacBook and the Intel Chip MacBook. In terms of value, I put a 4.5 out of 5 because there are cheaper options, but for something that has so many features, I think that this is deserving of the price point that they set it at. And then I overall really like the unique appearance of this docking station. It's unlike many of the other ones that I was shopping for when I was looking for something for my laptops. I know the criteria that I've used here is a bit different from my last video on the standing desk, which by the way, I will actually have an update for very soon. But if you guys have any other criteria that you want me to evaluate on, just let me know in the comments below. I'm still pretty new to YouTube, so I'm still sort of figuring that out. These ratings here are based off of my personal experience and preferences with using this dock for the past six months or so. I would say though that based off of everything that I said, you should weight it on what you prefer and value in a docking station if you're looking for one. I personally think that this docking station is much better suited for someone with a heavier setup with multiple displays, someone who just needs to be able to work with all of these different features and integrations at the same time. If you just purely have a one monitor setup, you could use something a lot cheaper or you could potentially, if you have a Windows that already has a bunch of these ports or an older MacBook, you might not even need a docking station at all. But if you are looking for something that is able to support um, a lot of these different ports, then this might be something that you want to consider. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this useful, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any things that you would like me to review, comment down in the comment section below. I usually do actually read through most of them. And until next time.